Officials in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant say they've run into another problem. They say a wall they built to stop contaminated groundwater from seeping into the sea has failed. The industry ministry estimates that 300 tons of tainted groundwater are flowing into the Pacific Ocean every day. Engineers from Tokyo Electric Power Company injected chemicals into the earth to harden it and create an underground wall. But they were unable to solidify the soil closest to the surface. surface. The technical workers recently dug a well just inside a new wall to monitor the water level. They found it was slightly higher than the top of the wall. The workers are pumping out contaminated groundwater as a temporary measure. A uh, TEPCO spokesperson says the company has known for the past two years that a massive amount of groundwater was flowing beneath the Fukushima power plant. The official says TEPCO experts estimated hundreds of tons of the water could reach the ocean daily. The figure is based on rough records of groundwater we collected. The figure was not reached with the help of outside experts. We collected it ourselves. Until last month, TEPCO officials had denied the possibility that contaminated groundwater was leaking into the ocean. The official says he is unable to explain why it took two years to disclose this fact. Workers at Japan's crippled nuclear plant are ramping up their latest effort to contain contamination. They're pumping radioactive water out of the ground at Fukushima Daiichi to try to stop it from flowing into the ocean. Government officials say 300 tons of tainted water from the site may be running into the ocean every day. Engineers with Tokyo Electric Power Company created an underground wall to try to contain it. They used chemicals to harden the soil near the most heavily contaminated reactors number one and number two. The engineers apparently didn't plan for what happened next. Blocking the groundwater with the wall caused it to keep rising and the water continues to flow over the top. Crews began pumping up water through a well near the wall last Friday as a makeshift countermeasure. They say the groundwater level has since fallen about 50 centimeters. The engineers are now driving about 30 pipes into the ground. The pipes are roughly five meters long. Company officials say the installation will be finished this Sunday. They say engineers will try to pump up 60 tons of water a day and store it at the plant. Still, they warn these measures are not a complete solution. They say contaminated water will still get past the underground wall and flow into the ocean every day. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are busy mopping up contaminants. They found that 300 tons of highly radioactive water has leaked from a storage tank. Workers found about 120 liters of water just outside a low wall around tanks at Reactor 4. They detected 100 millisieverts per hour of radiation near the surface of the water. The maximum exposure limit for nuclear plant workers is 50 millisieverts per year. Workers checked all 26 tanks in the area. They found that the water level in one tank had decreased from 1,000 to 700 tons. The water was leaking through a pipe used to discharge rainwater from the wall. Authorities at the plant's operators say releasing it helps workers identify radioactive water that may be seeping from the tank. The workers closed a valve on the pipe and the leak stopped. Officials from the Nuclear Regulation Authority are further investigating the leak. They've instructed the people at TEPCO to collect soil samples and quickly determine the cause. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are struggling to control the flow of radioactive water. The plant's operator says it will step up monitoring and control of the water leaks from storage tanks. Tokyo Electric Power Company says at least 300 tons of highly radioactive water has leaked from a storage tank into the ground. This is the worst leakage from a storage tank since the nuclear accident in March 2011. The tanks are surrounded by a 30-centimeter high concrete barrier, but the attached pipes were left open to drain away rainwater. Most of the contaminated water that leaked out is believed to have seeped underground. The water inside the tank was treated to reduce radioactive cesium, but TEPCO workers detected 100 millisieverts per hour of radiation near the surface of the leaked water. 
Only half an hour of exposure to this level of radiation is allowed in the course of a year. TEPCO officials stress there is no alternative to using the tanks. The tanks are easy to build, and in reality, more of these tanks must be used, or else there will be no place to store the tainted water. Workers have started to remove the remaining 700 tons of contaminated water from the tank to find out how the leak occurred. They are also examining soil and groundwater to see if the tainted water has flowed into the sea. The plant has seen a series of water leaks from tanks and other problems as it tries to clean up the accident caused by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. Contaminated groundwater has also been found to be leaking into the sea. Utility officials need to come up with drastic steps to contain the radioactive water building up at the plant. The people who operate the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are wrestling with yet another challenge. They'd already confirmed that more than 300 tons of highly radioactive wastewater has leaked from a storage tank, and now they say it may have flowed into the Pacific Ocean. Workers with Tokyo Electric Power Company detected high levels of radiation inside a ditch. The ditch is about 50 meters from the leaking tank, and it runs into the ocean. Workers have set up hundreds of tanks on a hillside near the reactors. They erected a low wall around the tanks. Still, the water seeped out. Officials at Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority said they're considering raising their severity rating of the leak. They rated it as a level one incident on the international scale that runs from zero to seven. They're considering raising their assessment to level three for serious incidents. Previously, TEPCO officials had said it was unlikely that contaminated water was reaching the shore. They said the level of radioactive substances in the ocean was not as high as that on land. Workers at Japan's damaged nuclear plant are hurrying to make sure a leak of highly radioactive water is under control. The contaminated water escaped from a storage tank at Fukushima Daiichi. Now, inspectors are checking for leaks in other tanks of the same design. Crews with plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, found that more than 300 tons of tainted water had already escaped from one tank. They fear it may be making its way into the Pacific Ocean via drainage system. We cannot deny the possibility of contaminated water leaking into the trenches around the tanks. Therefore, we cannot deny that contaminated water is reaching the ocean. Workers have transferred the remaining 700 tons of water to another container. But they will have to decontaminate the inside of the tank in question before conducting a full inspection. That could take several days. The tank is made of steel plates bolted together rather than welded. There are about 350 tanks of the same design in the plant's compound. TEPCO workers are carrying out visual inspections and measuring radiation levels around the tanks. They plan to finish the work as early as Friday. The regulators appear to be losing patience. They've ordered TEPCO officials to do more to prevent any further leaks. The officials from the Nuclear Regulation Authority held an emergency meeting. One of the commissioners says he doubts the system in place now is capable of preventing more leaks. There's no record of monitoring? No, we didn't keep any. So you only have the memories of your workers. The regulators have instructed workers to install water level gauges on all storage tanks to warn of any possible leaks, and they ask the operators to consider storing the wastewater elsewhere. The commissioners plan to inspect the tanks on Friday.